The Seven Seas Water Richmond Desalination Plant is located on St. Croix in the U.S. Virgin Islands. In 2009, Seven Seas Water was awarded a contract to supply approximately 1,900 cubic meters per day of fresh water to the U.S. Virgin Islands Water and Power Authority, also known as WAPA. Only 97 days after signing the contract, water was being delivered at the required quantity and quality. Using six sets of quick-deploy containerized units from inventory, Seven Seas Water was able to respond quickly to meet the needs of the authority. Initially, these units were intended to be a temporary solution while the authority's thermal desalination equipment was being refurbished. However, WAPA soon realized these units could greatly enhance operations. By utilizing state-of-the-art reverse osmosis technology, Seven Seas Water was able to produce highly reliable drinking water at a water sales price to WAPA that was 40% less than WAPA's internal cost to desalinate water using their existing thermal desalination plant. We have remote capabilities. Uh, we have a state-of-the-art SCADA system where we can monitor all the various process flows, pressures, and make instantaneous changes as necessary. These quick deploy units produced highly reliable drinking water at a measurably lower cost than WAPA originally estimated. As a result, WAPA decided to convert the short-term temporary water supply contract, where Seven Seas Water was supplying about half of St. Croix's water, to a long-term 20-year contract in which Seven Seas Water supplies 100% of St. Croix's water. In January of 2013, the second phase of the Richmond project began to take shape with the construction of a larger land-based reverse osmosis plant located within a steel building which would replace all of the authority's aging thermal desalination equipment. This new facility was designed to provide an additional 8,327 cubic meters per day, which not only provided WAPA with another source of reliable, high-quality water, but also permitted expansion of municipal water distribution throughout the island. With no upfront capital required from the client, Seven Seas Water can quickly deploy mobile SWRO units as well as design and construct larger scale land-based plants under a build-own-operate arrangement. The Richmond plant begins at the intake, which is co-located with the Authority's existing infrastructure. It comprises two pump stations, drawing from a shared seawater supply vault, which is gravity-fed by a line connected to Christiansted Harbor. The intake vaults rest on the harbor floor at a depth of four meters, and the gentle intake stream creates a habitat for many marine species. On our intake structure, we see a lot of fish. We see stingrays, we see eagle rays, we see sea turtles, there's conchs out there. And so we know that we're not contributing to any negative impacts to the environment. In fact, that water flow, just bringing in that, that constant flow of water benefits the environment. Pre-treatment is a critical step in the SWRO process where native suspended solids, such as silt and algae in the feed water, must be removed to ensure stable and efficient operation of the SWRO membranes. The intake system transfers unfiltered seawater to the multimedia filter pretreatment system, where most of the suspended materials are retained. The multimedia filters are periodically backwashed to remove the accumulated matter. This filter backwash and other side streams, such as SWRO reject, are ultimately returned back to the ocean through a gravity flow outfall vault. The brine that goes out is heavily diluted through the cooling water generated by the power plant. So the power plant brings in about 16,000 gallons per minute, whereas our process brings in about 5,000 gallons per minute. All 16,000 gallons of that cooling water brought in by the power plant goes back out after it's been used to cool down the system. The brine from the RO is coupled with that and heavily diluted. Likewise, the cooling pond where our brine goes out we see lots of fish, birds, sea life, and so we feel comfortable knowing that we are not negatively impacting the environment. The filtered seawater leaving the multimedia system undergoes an additional particulate separation step in the cartridge filter system prior to entering the SWRO trains. 
Each reverse osmosis train uses semi-permeable, spiral-wound membranes to separate the seawater feed into two separate streams, the potable water stream called the permeate and the high salt content stream called the reject. A multi-stage, high-pressure pump provides the necessary hydraulic pressure, as high as 55 bar, to facilitate the separation of salts from the seawater. Additionally, a boost pump is used in conjunction with pressure exchangers to significantly reduce power consumption. This energy recovery system reduces the required reverse osmosis input energy by as much as 60%. The SWRO permeate water is transferred to a main storage tank owned by the authority. While being transferred to the storage tank, the water undergoes remineralization in the post-treatment system to optimize key water quality parameters. This assures the highest quality water is being delivered to meet contractual specifications. During construction, WAPA also asked Seven Seas Water to build an additional solution to provide ultra-pure water to meet the demands of power generation. Approximately 1,135 cubic meters per day of permeate water from the SWRO plant is sent to ultra-pure water filtration. As the term implies, ultra-pure water is practically free of dissolved constituents. This process requires a second pass through the RO membrane system followed by an electro-deionization system, which produces the ultra-pure water that WAPA uses for boiler feed and turbine injection. The desalination plant's power is provided directly from the WAPA power plant. The power distribution within the plant is handled by Seven Seas Water, which includes power monitoring and surge protection capabilities. The control room features a state-of-the-art supervisory control and data acquisition system with industrial computers to automatically monitor, control and communicate with all equipment in critical process areas throughout the entire plant. In addition, Seven Seas Water also fully owns, manages and operates these water facilities, greatly simplifying the traditional water supply model. Highly trained professionals, who are dedicated to operating the most safe and reliable facilities in the industry, staff Seven Seas Waters plants. I've been with the company for about 16 years now. I started off taking, just taking readings. And I've grown, learned a lot. And my position now is the lead operator. Safety is a priority with this company. We take this very seriously. We have a safety manager in Tampa, and also we have a safety officer here. No one's afraid to get their hands dirty. Everyone's, everyone's there to get the job done, and it shows. It's a very results-oriented uh, group, and they won't stop at anything to basically get the process done or get the, the quality of water that they're looking for. To ensure consistency between plants and provide remote support for operations, Corporate engineering and field service teams are located at the Seven Seas Water Headquarters in Tampa, Florida, USA. Operating in an environmentally sustainable manner, Seven Seas Water's Richmond Desalination Plant guarantees a reliable water source at a fixed cost per gallon over the entire term of the water supply agreement for the people of St. Croix, while simultaneously promoting good stewardship of the precious resources in the U.S. Virgin Islands.